guys, Zuljin here, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. You know what I forgot to do yesterday? Show you guys the wind-up. It just, just occurred to me when I was editing. I was like, I got a new ability. I didn't even show it off. We didn't really have anything to fight after that, but it's really, really cool. You can walk around with it once it's charged, and it doesn't really change your speed a whole lot, but when you jump, it cancels it out. And I think when you run, it does too. No, actually, you can't even run. I'm holding down R1 right now, and it's not happening. But the attack looks pretty cool. I can't wait to mess around with it. First thing we're going to do today is we're going to ring the bell. We're going to raise our town's level and see where it brings us. And ring. Nice. We leveled up, babe. Everybody's coming around the Dia Tree. Base level two. Yeah. Residents become skilled at tilling the fields, capable crop watering. Oh, snap. We got people. The population of Zuljin's base just got a little bigger. What? Uh, write some. Yes. You know you got a recipe, baby. I knew it. Learns a load of new recipes. Straw floors. Oh, we had a lot of them, actually. So it worked again. Ringing the bell has made everyone better at building. Towel rails, cloth sacks, and sacks of wheat. Wonderful inventions. All this textile technology will no doubt prove invaluable to Furrowfield. You've done it again, Zuljin. And this time, the sound of the bell has drawn farmers from far and wide. With new furniture and new farmers, we'll be able to make Furrowfield Farm even better. <laughs> beautiful, man. Beautiful. Go on, Zuljin. Give your guest a warm welcome, and you don't get a second chance at a first impression. Okay, if some turns up at the base with a marker above their head, they've surely come to help out. Why not go and say hello? So, basically, it allows you to recruit them. Well, mercy me. What in the world is going on here? Oh, maybe it's not the worm. Uh, oh, my. A builder, you say? That type's got so so is desolation and despair wherever they go. Look at the crops they're growing. Horgon's going to have your guts for quarters. Come on, let's get out of here. We don't want to get mixed up in this. But don't you just have the urge to till those fields? Aren't you desperate to water those plants? <laughs> you can tell these people are farmers at heart. They can't lay their eyes on such lovely soil without wanting to plow it. I can't abandon my faith, but I can't turn back on such fantastic farm either. All right, we'll join you, but not a word to the children, all right? The Furrowfieldian farmers have moved into Furrowfield Farm. Very, very cool. So, we got a, uh, quite a few quests to uh, to do. And yesterday, y'all said in the comments that I had missed out on some fresh dirt uh, in the cave that we found Wrigley. But it's not that big of a deal. We can make as much of it as we want. All we have to do is um, kind of press down some of those scarecrows. All right, Bonanzo. Sheesh. Grumbling ghouls, Zuljin. It's clear your skills as a builder are greater than ever. The instant your hammer struck that bell, I felt myself overcome with creative energy. I've been watching your building work with a keen eye. By building your buildings and planting your crops, you have made our hopes and dreams a reality. And with the gratitude we give you, you, you ring the bell and become a better builder, ready to make even more of our dreams come true. What a truly wonderful partnership. I can only hope that you continue to lead the people of our fair form as our resident benevolent builder. All right. Beautiful. And uh, we've got our new guy here that we spoke to yesterday that was so mad. Clayton, Hargon be praised. The barn is just as I had imagined it. <laughs> ah, Suljin, I, I can't hide it any longer. Yes, I knew you'd come around, dude. Ever since I came to your farm, ever since I saw the wondrous things you've built, I've fallen in love with building. There's no point in fighting it. Oh, well, you fighting all right. Look at this dude, dude. <laughs> it's just, I'll just have to say my goodbyes to the children of Hargon and become a builder like you. Oh, great and powerful Hargon, I beg your forgiveness for the sins I am to commit. Not to turn into a dog, I pray. <laughs> well, so then I hope this incident has proved instructive for you. If nothing else, you have learned that rooms come in various sizes. I wouldn't be surprised if people petition you for room specific sizes in the future. It won't always be easy, but you should do what you can, can to accommodate their request. Anyway, as proof that I no longer serve the children of Horgon, I would like you to have these. I denied you before, but I shall do no longer. 
Oh, baby, more cabbage seeds. And more wheat seeds. Nice. I'm gonna have some fields. We're gonna do a lot of fields off cam, I think. Uh, we need these to grow a little more before we harvest them. Uh, we're just about at the, uh, the 50 cap right here. So I think we're gonna probably wait for that. Let's see. So we figured out yesterday we can do this little room. And I think we're gonna build a little bit more. Uh, we're gonna keep it going to the side, I do believe. Because that side of town... I mean, we do have this little patch that we could do something on. But I was thinking about adding some fence posts to this little setup to make the fields even bigger. But to do that, I wonder if we're going to actually need to use the, um, the scarecrow, another scarecrow, like put it somewhere else. Hmm. I'll tell you what, let's just start by plopping down some post here. And I'll tell you what, let's finish planting the cabbage too. So... We'll at least make it square. <laughs> or somewhat square. Okay. <laughs> That's about as square as it's going to get. I don't think we have enough uh, materials to actually do what we'd like to do here. Let's take these uh, wheat seeds out. And plant these as well. No telling. There might be some more goals that come up here. Because all we have right now is like three little missions, right? Three little old missions, and we're almost done with the third one, so it'll be something else. And as soon as we sleep, that'll be done. Let's see what, uh, let's see what Perry says. Everything's coming along lovely, Zuljin. We got our fields, we got our cabbages, and we got our wheat. And there's something else we got, too. Hunger pains, you know? <laughs> How tummies, those cabbages are, how yummy those cabbages are, but the rest of us ain't had a chance to eat them yet. We really need to farm it, uh... On this farm is a chest full of food. Then we'd all be able to help ourselves to something whenever we're hungry. I got you some, man. I promise to never bother you about anything again. Just fill a chest up with 30 cabbages and let us eat. Oh, well, that's easy. You needn't say another word, Zuljin. <laughs> Saw you squirreling those, those cabbages for me. You know chests aren't just useful for storing stuff. You can put them to share stuff with us, too. I recommend you fill them up with loads of lovely food. Ever since the children of Horgon banned us from making new things, we've been forced to rely on their handouts to survive. But to heck with that! Now we've got to grow our own food and stuff, our gobs, till we're fit to pop. I almost thought he said fit to poop. <laughs> Same thing, I guess. Oh, by the way, Zuljin, these seeds you've planted won't last forever. You've gone harvesting them enough times, they won't grow no more. So don't feel like you need to harvest everything just because you can. We can only eat so much, you know. Well, what do you want? You want you want more? You want chest full of food? Uh, you'll get several harvests out of each seeds you sow, but at some point the seeds will disappear, and you'll want to run an efficient farm. Try to take only what you need. All right, that sounds good enough. Well, we did our. Um, I'm pretty sure we have 30 in this chest. I'm almost positive, in fact. Yeah, we had 35. So the quest has been complete. We'll see what he says now. Oh, that's Malroth. Getting really good at making stuff. I mean, just look at all these crops. I might be able to make new stuff, too. Let me have a go on that workbench. I think I've got hitting it with a hammer stage down to a T. All right, and then... Huh? You're the master of destruction, Malroth. I know we don't know that yet, but... <laughs> well, this sucks. I wanted to help just even a little bit. Uh, well, whatever. You stick to building, I'll stick to beating up monsters. We already kind of knew that. Hello, Zuljin. We've got ourselves a proper little farm now, aren't we? It's blime and brilliant having a builder like you around. But more than anything, it's nice to have so much food. I could definitely get used to not being hungry all the time. Of course, there's something a bit demon about scarfing down whole raw cabbages straight out the chest. Oh, are you going to tell me about e making a kitchen? We need a way of eating that's a bit more civilized, don't you reckon? I think you could invent something like that. If you do, do me a favor and put it outside, will you? I always wanted to enjoy a meal while looking out over the fields. Oh, it might be a patio or something. Of course it ain't civilized to sit in the mud, either. You'll need a table to sit at and a simple stool to sit on. 
Just stick it wherever a new culinary contraption you come up with on top, and it'll be good. Okay. Picnic table? No, a simple supper set. Uh, I'm assuming uh, an as unassuming assortment of plates and saucers handcrafted homely fashion. Nice. So, technically, we're kind of ready to make a little, uh, kind of a little patio. So, what we're going to need is, we don't have any more of those seeds I was looking forward to. I can always do some of those straw field, uh, straw, um, little deals. Let's see. Straw floor? There we go. So, we're going to need dry grass for this. But I think we can do that. I think we have dry grass. Oh, we only have two dry grass. All right. So we probably just need to harvest a little bit of grass here. Let's see. The wheat's not going to be grown for another little while. Well, we might have enough. Yeah, we will. One more. Wow, just enough. Nice. Yay! <laughs> Our hard work has finally paid off. 50 sheaves of golden wheat harvested and ready to use. Wheat has always been a symbol of prosperity on Furrowfield. There's just so much food you can make with it. We'll never go hungry again, especially now that you're here, Zildjian. I expect that your skills as a builder probably extend to making delicious dishes, too. Oh, and look, the deer tree. Okay, here we go. Storyline advancement. Wow, there we go. We've got a real deer tree now. Wow, the deer tree is looking stronger than ever. Haglin, heal <laughs> slimes. Zuljan, you've done it. You've completed every one of the pastor's tasks. You have rebuilt Furrowfield to, and produced a bountiful harvest. The earth itself has been imbued with power of growth, and it's that has given the strength to the deer tree. In turn, the great tree will extend her blessings to your farm, protecting the fruits of your labor with her holy power. So, the deer tree gives strength to the farm, and the farm gives strength to the deer tree. They both help each other. Indeed, very astute of you, child. But now you have outlived your usefulness. Your farming career ends here. What? I jest, I jest. Keep your beard on. What a weirdo, dude. <laughs> Our work is not done yet. After all, there's still more we must do to see the deer tree attain her true form. <laughs> This is, well, I suppose it did all seem a little bit too easy. If you wish to see the deer tree restored to her full strength, you will have no choice but to work your fingers to the bone in her service. I shall explain to you soon enough what me, must next be achieved, but for now, let me bid you congratulations on your hard task well done. Sowing the Seeds of Success, Mission Complete. Nice. Everybody's coming. Everybody's coming. Great. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. So, I don't know exactly what the quest progress looks like from here on out, but we can continue with our little uh, setup here. Maybe we just need to bring the town up some levels. That would be what I would think would be next. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we do want to get the little picnic table set up um, outdoors. So let's get a little bit of grass. And there's a few enemies to try out our weapon on. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Dude. Look at this, guys. God dang, Malroth. That's an ability and a half. Malroth is also kicking butt, by the way. Uh, oh, let's change. I accidentally set down my stuff. Every time I start to play in the morning, I don't know if it's if I haven't had enough coffee or not, but I just kind of forget what buttons are which. So let's see if it shows us a damage number here. 30 damage. As opposed to hitting them normally before this. Let's get a little. 12. So, almost 2.5 times? Something like that? That's pretty crazy, dude. Pretty crazy. Anyway, I'm going to continue grabbing this grass and stuff here. Also, we just took a detour in order to give this guy cabbages. So we can get some more seeds. <laughs> there we go. More wheat seeds. I knew you'd come through for me, human. After all, us rats and humans used to be on the same side. 
What? You don't know anything about it? Well, we actually... Now that you mention it, I don't remember much about it either. Quest completed, babe. <laughs> Pretty cool. Also, I don't think we talked to this guy after we got the chest last time. Squeak, very well done. Who has imagined the seat of life would be hidden all the way up there, ruin rafters? Did you have much trouble getting up there? If you're still finding it tricky, just keep practicing. You'll master it eventually. You look like something of an adventurer to me, human. Hopefully these climbing skills will aid you in your travels. That seat of life should be quite helpful too. It has the odd effect of making you just a little bit stronger if you eat it. You'll find incredible items like this in all sorts of places, so don't be afraid to go exploring. You never know what you might stumble upon. They say the rarest and most valuable items are always hidden in the hardest to reach places, so keep an eye out on your travels. That reminds me, somebody said that in the tower that we visited a few episodes ago, we did have something, a chest that I missed as well, so I might go over there and check that too. So I decided to come back to the Wormy Cave or the Wrigley Cave to see what everybody was talking about. And here's all the fresh dirt that people were speaking about. I should probably uh -huh. grab some of that. Yep. And uh, we can always put down scarecrows for some of this stuff. But yep. as you can see, it's pretty easy to get here. And that way we can kind of square off our fields without really worrying about adding scarecrows yep. and making it crazy shapes. I do want to mess around with fence posts as well and shaping yep. those fields to where we get at least two big full fields of the two different kind of crops that we can grow which is right now is only wheat and cabbage and also i was noticing something as well i can't break that stuff i was noticing something as well take a look at this it almost looks as if it wants us to go out here and there is an opening at the top i bet you there's a chest or something here all right uh, let's see. There's the tower. I'd like to go back and check that out as well. Oh, look. <laughs> I knew it. I, I just knew it. The adventurer in me, guys, told me. Told me what I needed. What? We could have gotten a stone sword before? Oh, that's cool to know. Let's go ahead and grab this chest. <laughs> I'm going to finish harvesting that fresh dirt down there, and then I'm going to head back to the tower. So... I just ran across a ghost when I was exploring, and this guy hits hard and has a ton of hit points, too, and keeps disappearing. Okay, we got to eat a little bit. Oh, uh, we got a bombardier out here. Bam! 30 in the back. Oh, as far as this dude, too. Kill him quick. Not an emote, man. All right. Sheesh. Oh. And this is what they mean about strong nighttime monsters, I guess. All right. Cabbage. 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 Quickly. Almost got him. This is like a little freaking world boss or something, man. It's actually the strongest... And, man, we didn't get no drops from him? Come on, game. Come on, I fought that dude for like five minutes. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, they keep spawning, too. I just heard him. Ooh, yep, he's coming. Dang. If this don't teach you to sleep at night, huh? While I'm exploring around, I see this weird structure over here. And there's also a chest on top. I can see it. I'm just going to need to get to it. Let's see. I wonder if this is like a parkour thing or if I should just build. Oh. Oh, there's a little... Dude. Dang. Okay. Might be time to fight a little bit. <laughs> Come on, Maroth. Push it, baby. Get him, please. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. We're going to need to cook up some medical herbs. And look at the cabbage I'm consuming. Holy cow. All right. Uh, let's see. Probably just pillar up right here would be the easiest way. Malroth, I'm sorry, man. I got to go up without you. Although, I know you're going to find a way to uh, 
to go anyway. <laughs> Alright. Can I just keep going straight up here? I can. And... Oh. <laughs> I could have just kept on. And... Fresh dirt! <laughs> very nice, very nice. Alright, so we are at the tower again, and I just noticed there's a cave right behind where we uh, where we came in for the tower. So I'm sure there's going to be something here. Oh, snap. This looks like some sort of little encounter. Lots of ants. That's where they came from from the tower, I wonder. Oh, this is a dummy? With a sign? What? What the heck? A fat rat signpost? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I learned a new recipe. Fat rat signpost. A silly signpost resembling a rotund rodent blocking the road. Can be used to write messages on. <laughs> nice. Just a little Easter egg here. That's cool. Alright, so I'm on top of this roof. I do not see any chests on the windmill itself. And if I break up some of these blocks, I'll look down. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's just the area that I came in from. And there's nothing in here. So... I guess the comments were talking about the chest behind the cave. And, uh, for that matter, though, there's there's nothing else in the windmill. So I'm pretty sure I got everything that I was supposed to get up until this point. Now I'm going to head back to town. So with the new grass that we got, we can build some straw floors. Uh, let's craft 50. Beautiful. Oh my god. I thought I heard some noise. Everybody's eating. Is there, is there any more cabbages in here? Oh, bruh. Y'all killing them cabbages. Listen to these dudes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. So I think I'm going to change my mind to this area right here. It's just going to be next to the grass, okay? And uh, since we already have the straw floors made, I don't want to tear up the grass right here, right? It's just gonna be like a little border that I can do. So this will be a little spot next to it. And let's do the straw floors here. All right, and we'll place them like so. Yeah, just like a little patio spot. Beautiful. Let me take out some of these too, just because they are in the way. All right, we got a nice little area here. Let's go ahead and set out a couple of tables. And we'll put some chairs out here too. And let's do one of the bowls right here. We got a dining table now, and one of the bowls right here. Will it let us? Oh, this is like a little basket or something like that, honestly. Let's just put it right there instead. Well, maybe, maybe we'll put that somewhere else. Let's, <laughs> maybe we'll put that somewhere else. I, I, thought, I thought I had made that correctly, but maybe not. Um, we, all we needed was the bowl, pretty much, to set up here. So let's talk to him. Thanks, Zuljan. Now I can marvel at the wonder of nature without ever getting hungry. I still can't quite get my head around it. I'll tell you what we want. The next thing you know, you've invented something new and you're running off to build it. It's worth knowing that these things don't necessarily have to be in a room. You can put something like a bed or a chair outside and still use it and, a, and, and happily too. It's not to say that we don't want you to make us nice rooms. If we can enjoy our creations indoors in lovely appealing surroundings, we'll be all the more appreciative. The other thing to remember is try putting things together to make sets. Like the little table, chair, cutlery combo. <laughs> Anyone in town who sees that will know exactly what it's for and how to use it if they want to. You know what would make it even better? 
if that simple supper set you made actually had some food in it. After all, what's this bowl if you ain't got something gorgeous grub in it? I think we'd all appreciate a lush breakfast when we woke up each morning. After working in the fields, lunch wouldn't amiss e go amiss either. And dinner too, for that matter. So, kitchen blueprint? Maybe? Don't celebrate too soon. Something tells me we've got company. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The enemy's closing in. Uh, this is gonna have to wait till next episode, you guys. I hope y'all really enjoyed this one. If you did, give us some tap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. And we'll see you next time. Break it down.